Ooh. It's about to get nerdy and weird. Tower camera. I would yeah. describe our show like that a little bit. Yeah. I love yeah. Tower Nerdy camera. and weird. <laughs> yeah. Today, it's National Science Day. So yeah. we thought, who better than to walk us through some of the fun science experiments that you can do at home than our very own meteorologist, Beth Benello. Oh, yeah. What up, Beth? Hello. Hi. How you doing, friend? Hi, Beth. Hey. It's good you to see ready? you. Yeah. Happy National Science Day. Thank you. Yes. We love science. Uh, yes. We love science. First thing we're going to do, we're going to do tornadoes in a jar. Okay. Okay. Right. So, so this one is really simple, really easy, really fun to do with any age, small children, large children, whatever you want to do. Okay. Large okay. children. <laughs> large. So you've got, you've got mason jars and I filled them with water. Okay. 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 And we'll pass the dish soap around. All right. So you're just going to put in just a little bit of dish soap. A little okay. bit of there dish soap. Go. All right. A little bit this of dish This can be soap. Any, any kind of soap, right? Any soap. Any okay. dish soap. There you go, this Jill. This is just what I had Thank in my kitchen. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I like so the lemon is the clouds, right? So the water acts as the environment and the soap will act as the clouds. Okay. What I like to do with this experiment is you don't have to use food coloring. I like to use food coloring because it's a little bit easier yeah. to see the tornado and I'll explain that in a second. So okay. just like a couple drops. You could do yellow, you could do green, you Ooh. could do blue. I'm going to do blue. I'm going to go green. Oh, green? Yeah. Thank you. Go. Is that your favorite color, Ryan? No, blue is, but you picked Mine blue. Too. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I'm you're fine. It's all good. <laughs> I just realized I never asked you that. Okay. It's okay. We're still getting to know each other after <laughs> all these months together. All these months. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we got that in okay, there. Okay. We got that. So now what I also like to do is put either glitter. You can put if you have like Legos, Ooh. you have little trees, oh, you have fun. little cars, really anything in there. What this represents is the debris. Okay. So when a tornado touches okay. down, it tends to lift up whatever's on the ground. Whether yes. it's trees, whether it's shingles, roofs, you know, yep. vehicles. Tornadoes can pick up tractors. I mean, it's wow. yeah, it's Pretty wild, crazy. right? Okay. So then that yeah. acts as your debris. So then what you're going to want to do, and kids, if you are going to try this at home, make sure mom and dad are around. Yeah. That's Right. You want to make sure that this is secure. This okay. has to be tight. Got so it. You don't want anything to spill, right? Yep. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to flick your wrist and spin it, and you get your tornado flick in the jar. Wrist. And you'll notice the oh. glitter, you know, yeah, spinning around. You'll have oh, that's, that's the debris. Cool. There's the that's tornado. Cool. And look how easy it is. So simple. You've got the clouds on the top from the soap. And that is it. That is your whole experiment. And you can learn about tornadoes online. There are so many. <laughs> <laughs> Who chose this song? You're in trouble, okay? It sounds so dramatic. <laughs> For our tornadoes For the in the tornado jar. With dish soap. <laughs> <laughs> and the glitter. <laughs> I like the idea of having the little Legos and the trees and the people that is, in there. Yeah. Like you have little figuring cows, you oh, know, oh from God. like yeah, movie that's Twister. Yeah. We've got cows. Yeah, yes. there they are. They're in the tornado. Oh, that's so, so fun. So really How simple, fun. really easy to do. And yeah. then I brought another experiment, okay. of course. So what, this what's one, this next one? And this one we're going to make a lava lamp. So there are actually Ooh. a couple different ways you can do this. Okay. Um, you can put either the water first yep. or vegetable oil. So this is all you really need. And all then right. you'll need Alka-Seltzer tablets, which we'll get to in just a second. Oh, wow. all right. So here's what I like to do. And Wow, that is, that is a Alex is going to be very mad that I wasted all the vegetable oil, but it's okay. So I like to put the oil in first, okay. then put the water in. Water is oh, wow. more dense than it is oil. So the water gets trapped in the oil, so that acts as little pockets of air, little bubbles, oh, right? Okay. You can put water in first, and then you can put in the oil. Yeah. I just find it doesn't really mix as well. Okay. As, You're right. You're right. You know, it yeah. just doesn't. So then you take these Alka-Seltzer tablets. The music so picks this. It's so suspenseful. <laughs> I know. Here's your Alka-Seltzer tablet. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. All right. And we'll get yeah, I'm on the edge on. of my seat. Yeah, yeah. music here. This is going to be a chemical reaction, right? Sure. Because okay. of science there. Right. <laughs> I also like to put food coloring in here, too. Okay. Because it's a lava lamp. It's a lava lamp. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. got to be colorful. You'll notice how again it's it kind of it's harder for the water to go through or for the food coloring to go through when the oil's okay, on. Okay, so do the, maybe do the okay. oil first. Right. right. Okay. So then you go ahead and you'll drop them in. All right. Three, two, two one. one. Okay. And it starts to bubble up. Look at this, just like a lava lamp. That and is so cool. It's all just in a cup. There's no heat involved. There's no electricity involved. Yeah. And you can keep adding in the Alka Seltzer tablets. Yeah. I don't know if you put in like multiple into one if it's like gonna yeah. erupt. Ooh. You could try. I'm we not gonna find try. out. We, we've got. There's only see. one way to find out. We have that so many really different cool. ones. Oh my see. gosh. We'll just keep dropping. This them is in. such a fun thing to do with the kids. I right, mean, and you know, know <laughs> we really during COVID and stuff, people were working from home. Yeah. Kids were working from home and learning yeah. from home. So it just got a little bit harder to think of different science experiments. Right. So these, of course, are safe, and you can try these at home. Look at this. I love it. How many more do we have? Super cheap. Let's keep doing. Super right. fun. So easy. Anyone you just can have do these it. at home. Yeah, kids, grandkids, whatever you want. Anyone, babies, up. you and know. The whoever. educational aspect. Adults. Yeah. It's fun for adults too, <laughs> and you're learning something. Really bored every time. adults. <laughs> 
making different lava lamps. I'm having a great time right now. Oh my God. Thank you so much.